Ever since a bust-up with Antonio Conte earlier this year, Diego Costa has been hovering near the Chelsea exit door. And while he didn't depart over the summer, a January move looks increasingly likely. Our friends at Football Whispers investigate the situation. Alvaro Morata takes Costa's place The Atletico Madrid transfer target has been ostracized from Chelsea's first team and has yet to play a single minute of competitive soccer for the Premier League champions so far this term. The 28-year-old's place has been taken by Alvaro Morata, who has hit an impressive three goals in five league games. Morata, the former Real Madrid man, has adapted well to Conte's tactics, offering a new dimension in attack. Whereas before Chelsea looked to blitz defences with Costa's power and ruggedness, it now has a subtler, more dynamic option to lead the line. Morata possesses excellent technique and an ability to find space in the penalty area with clever runs. He also drops deep to hold up the ball and link up with his teammates, using a combination of strength and control. His qualities alone aren't enough to convince some, however, with Ray Wilkins telling Premier League Daily, I see a better footballer in Murata, better control, movement and probably quicker. But when I look at the beast in Costa, he upsets people. I'd much rather have Costa than Murata. The Blues legend's opinion is backed up by the statistics available, as Chelsea's Wantaway star does well, when comparing his numbers from last season to Murata's so far in 201,718. How Costa and Murata compare, not only did Costa attempt as many shots and create as many chances per game, he have also completed four times as many dribbles, almost twice as many passes, and passed at a higher success rate than Murata did. He also did more without the ball, making more tackles and interceptions on average. This perhaps explains why Chelsea has acted the way it did over Costa's potential sale. Many see their playing hardball as vindictive, a response to the player's behavior. However, Chelsea also might realize exactly how much of an asset Costa can be at his best and value him accordingly. Why January move is in the cards for Costa, while Atletico Madrid was unable to register new players over the summer due to its transfer ban, it technically has been able to sign new players. Thus, it brought in Vitolo from Sevilla. But, unable to register him, it loaned him to Las Palmas for six months, by which point the ban will be over, and the club once again will be able to add new recruits. The Spanish club would have liked to confirm Costa's return over the summer, but it was denied that possibility by Chelsea's aggressive approach to negotiations. The player has made it clear he only desires this move, but as yet no agreement is in place. However, Spanish sports daily Marca has reported Atletico has made a final offer of £57 million $77 million plus add-ins for the striker. The question now is can Chelsea afford to refuse such a high amount for a want-away player the likelihood is that the Blues will not and Costa will be sold back to his old club come January. Thumbnail photo via YouTube and Sports.